when the devil is looking for blood for december it is minus me because there is an anointing upon my life i like your spirit to be fired up because in the next 10 minutes we are going to step into a season of prayer many of you as you pray in that prayer you, you are you are sending a, an alarm in the spirit enough is enough enough of living in fear what if i die what kind of life is that you can't be effective living in fear what if i die what if i'm kidnapped what if something happens there has to be a system of safety as you are praying in the spirit you are opening up yourself tired of these limitations tired of living in fear tired of living by any whatever it is by the power of the word of God. Now go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Are you praying? Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Psalm 79 and verse 11 I want us to confront the spirit of death Psalm 79 and verse 11 please media are you helping us he said let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power preserve thou those appointed to die listen we are still praying preservation you are going to pray for you your children and all who are connected to you 
that the fullness of your days you will fulfill and any embargo of death hanging on you he must give way right now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, pray, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, we curse you by the God of heaven, by the word of the Lord. Pray, pray over your children, pray over your family, pray over your loved ones in the name of Jesus. Preserve from death, preserve from the soul, preserve from the hands of evil and wicked men. In the name of Jesus, 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 hallelujah. Please hear me. You are going to pray and cover everyone connected to you, mention them by name and declare that under God and by the word of God Satan you have no hand over their life whether in death whether in tragedy they are preserved lift your voice and pray mention them by name he said as for me and my house Call your mother, call your father, call your siblings, call your spouse, call your children by name, declare over their life, prophesy preservation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, don't be tired while praying. Hallelujah. You are going to declare that if there is any mark upon my life and destiny attracting tragedy to my life, that was what came upon Cain. And Cain cried. He said, By reason of this mark, anybody who sees me will harm me. You're going to lift up your voice and pray that if there be any strange mark that came by ancestry, that came by bloodline upon my head and my destiny, attracting tragedy in the name of Jesus, it is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead and pray. It is erased by the blood of the Lamb. Every marking of sadness erased by the blood of the Lamb. 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 
Every mark in the name of Jesus, every mark upon my life, upon my family, upon koinonia for tragedy, for evil, by the blood of the Lamb, it is erased in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, please don't be tired. Two more prayer points. Don't be tired at all. The Bible says the spirit is willing, even though the flesh is weak. Don't make bargain with a destiny defining moment. Now you're going to pray that every pattern, whatever you saw happen to anyone and is now gradually coming to you. Every pattern, pattern of failure, pattern of trouble, pattern of untimely death that seeks to come to me, my children, my family, I cancel it by the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. 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 Now, listen. This prayer we are going to pray is going to produce profound miracles. Listen. In the lives of people. I know what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit that is making me tell you this. Some of you may not believe the prayers, but that's all right. But I want you to pray. Do you know there is an average of six to seven in every ten people that have this mysterious encounter with spirit husbands, spirit wives, strangers that come to people while they are sleeping. They come to molest you. They try to sleep with you, plant all kinds of things in your body. Listen, as I'm praying now, many of you, the, the kind of deliverance that will come this has been responsible for the barrenness of many people if many people are to be open they will tell you a job is supposed to open up for you you get to bed in the night here comes that experience again someone comes to sleep with you molest you or some kind of dehumanizing experience and you wake up with a plethora of tragedies during our discussion on deliverance next year I will teach you some of these mysteries there are imbalances to them that continue to plant fear in believers i understand but believe me within the balance of scripture i can tell you that there are orchestrations of darkness that try to latch onto men say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you I shared with you my own experience the person talking to you is not in ignorance I was already in ministry 
and yet this spirit will come mine is just to come and oppress me and because of the prophetic i would see them i would shout jesus in the name of jesus blood of jesus as a man of god don't think i'm talking nonsense here i understand these things many of you because of the stigma around church you may not have the courage to open up to say look i am going through this some of you have the, you feel physically like a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and do all kind and you find out that there are repercussions spiritually we're about to pray my god i'm just in fire in this place this is what i'm saying listen hold on just help those under the anointing because fire is falling here for sure say after me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every spirit every spirit that is not of the christ that is not of the christ in and around my life in and around my life i decree and declare i decree and declare by the mystery of the blood by the mystery of the blood, let there be an eternal separation Live my life, my destiny forever. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. An eternal separation. Every stranger latching onto your body. Every spirit coming to you using the faces of men, the faces of animals, creatures to molest you and oppress you by the blood. Eternal separation. Help them, help those under the anointing. I command that spirit, you must go. Go with the sickness you brought. Go with the infirmity you brought. Go with the tragedy you brought out of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah please listen these are mysteries in the kingdom for supernatural preservation now i want to pray just help those under the anointing as i pray you don't have to bring them out but i want to pray now if there's need to bring them out i'll bring them please just five minutes of prophetic declarations and we're done please pay attention now everyone here connected to anything that has to do with ancestry anything that has to do with bloodline everything that seems to have a legal hold over your life right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare at the count of three by the fire of the holy ghost it will consume that devil now one two help them three be free now be free over you let that spirit live your destiny now hear me anyone here who is in ministry particularly 
and it looks like the more the ministry is extending in age the more everything is going down whether in membership whether in impact whether in visibility you may be following online i'm standing here under the corporate anointing with all the servants of god here and we decree and declare whatever makes ministry a frustrating adventure for you that it looks like you are called but nothing in your life shows that you are called by the power that raised christ from the dead we cast that spirit now the same applies to business the same applies to career your tomorrow i repeat should never never be worse than yesterday now hear me if there is anyone here who is struggling with any terminal disease particularly something that is already eating you up that is already plunging you towards death or anyone here having dreams and all you keep seeing are dead people dead relatives people who have died interacting with you or whatever it is the living and the dead have nothing in common therefore this night by this oil of preservation be separated forever be separated forever and any human agent in partnership with demonic spirits to invoke death or pain or losses or tragedy over your life and your endeavors in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare this oil upon you becomes an oil of judgment against them <laughs> hallelujah if there is anyone here that you have been marked in the realm of the spirit for kidnap by any terrorist group whether in this nation or around the world i stand in the name of jesus as one sent of god i decree and declare that anybody who stands by the road to kidnap you i command the earth to fight them in the name of jesus whether in the day whether in the night every devil walking through men that will stand by the road to kidnap or oppress you may the earth fight them in the name of jesus and every manifestation of accidents whether by road whether by sea whether by air hear me if you enter that plane or that car then it will not crash please believe these are not empty words these are not empty words at all let me pray for your children whether you are there with them or not wherever your children are may this prophetic word go ahead of them and preserve them i've told you what it does we can take advantage of time and program spiritual possibilities i decree and declare in the name of jesus for as many who will believe as many whose hearts will be open between now and december 31st may my god give you a reason to laugh may my god give you a reason to laugh may my god give you a reason to laugh number two every long-standing issue that has been around your life and your family and has refused to bow to the name of the lord i'm declaring some of you in a matter of days that situation comes to an end number three please receive this one i want to speak over your finances i truly got up this morning and i was concerned and burdened in my heart there are many people right now who are dying of high blood pressure they love the lord pastors individual but this money thing there are people who are already at the corridors of compromise because of tea and bread business did not seem to work this year there are couples that are about to tear apart right now and it's because of money let me speak over your life 
in the name that is above all names hear me anyone here who is in any financial condition that is for shame and for reproach in the name of jesus come out of it now by the ministry of destiny help us come out of it now i speak to every family here that all you have seen in your family is crying and languishing in the name that is above all names i open you up to a season of laughter There are family members that have not seen eyeball to eyeball in the name of Jesus. May the reconciler in this season bring reconciliation. Hear me. I am led to specially, I'm sensing in my spirit now to pray for couples that have been far apart either because of visa issues someone husband is in america wife is in nigeria for four years they've not seen themselves they've not seen their children in the name of jesus if there is anyone like that under the sound of my voice i declare supernaturally may the lord bring connection Let me pray for someone if there is any manifestation of the spirit of death translating to any cardiovascular disease to cut short your life i decree and declare be free from it now koinonia hear me your sleep is not for death you will not die in your sleep your travel is not for death you will not die on the road please help them the prophetic every hand that has been brought down in shame and you are saying lord will i remain like this prophetically i hold your hand i lift it up may it remain lifted forever anyone here having a court case or any legal issue that is about to eat up your family by all means i prophesy favor and mercy for you <laughs> hallelujah anyone here called barren that your womb has refused to take in I don't care what the medical condition is in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit I speak over you between now and the end of this year may a miracle start in your life please be patient I don't know who has forgotten you and because they forgot you all kinds of needless hardship some of you are surrounded by people that if they were led by God to remember you the truth is that shame will be rolled away from your life any spirit that has made them forget you in the name of Jesus right now I open the book of remembrance And for any one of you who has misused opportunities that were once opened because of carelessness and now that door is closed i prophesy restoration for you please hear me any altar and any coven and any shrine carrying anybody's name or any family to say you will not rise that in this december for you it will be tears while others are laughing i call upon my god in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy may that altar catch fire now <laughs> hallelujah two more speakings and we're done hear me there is a spirit that always leads men to trouble you get up in the morning in peace you will just go somewhere you are not supposed to go and you just see police come and they say everybody here just go to the police station why when you get there will tell you can i tell you the truth he says lead us not into temptation is that in your bible lead us not into temptation 
I know people who were minding their business. Someone came and said, let me introduce you to one business somewhere. They didn't know it was fraud. They sincerely just came because they wanted to make meaning. Right now, they are in trouble. Anything that is a temptation, anything that is the devil directing you to put you in trouble, right now, make a you turn spiritually. Make a you turn spiritually. Hear me? Every transaction, every connection, every fraternity with troublemakers that can implicate you legally, can implicate you spiritually, can bring reproach to your name and your family. May my God take you far from it. Yeah. Hallelujah. The final prayer now that I pray for you. I'm praying whether you have children or not anybody under your care is your child can i tell you you will not use your money to manage evil yeah. there are people just when families are ready to rise you will hear that their child is in police station you will hear that someone is sick you heard the story of i think someone the lady who was healed here i know a bit about these kidney things and let me tell you when you have a loved one that has a kidney situation be ready to put between 10 to at least 15 million to manage them and that not even with a guarantee they will survive i'm saying it again every trap of the enemy to bring joy and sadness to your family to your life to your children let it be averted finally right now for some of you it is with your own eyes your own ears and your own mind god will use to prophesy to you it will not even be another prophet you will go to lie down and what you wanted to meet someone to show you my god will show you using your own faculties me some of you you will be praying and the spirit of prophecy will come on you and you will start prophesying when you are done praying you will see that that prophecy was for you let me add one more prayer there are some of you who truly need an encounter with human vessels you have encountered the prophecy of scripture but you have been afraid because there are all kinds of people playing gimmicks i want to pray a special prayer for you the prophetic voice that god needs to lead you to so that you will hear to give you accuracy and precision i call upon god between now and the end of december i connect you to that prophetic voice Shout a loud amen. I connect you to that prophetic voice. Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you this for free. The day you actually encounter a man that God has helped with the prophetic, with character to help you and give you perspective, in five minutes, the confusion of 10, 20, 50 years, the blueprint of your destiny can be opened like you open a room that has been locked for a long time. I'm saying it one last time. You don't need to meet everybody. You have been meeting people not sent to you, even though they are accurate. He said there were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent. Just because a man can prophesy does not mean he's sent to you. In the name of Jesus, even if it's momentarily, I don't know what prophetic voice has been sent to bring perspective and direction and rest to your life find them now find them now find them now find them now and if there is anyone who prophesied upon you and that prophecy is not accurate yet you have been acting upon that inaccuracy and is torturing and destroying your life in the name of Jesus I release you from the effect of it now Wave your hands to Jesus and thank him for tonight's service. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand upon the grace that is in this house and I decree and declare for everyone who has been a victim of witchcraft, 
a victim of satanic manipulation manipulations of ancestry and every kind of satanic manipulation my bible says we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation my bible says blotting out every handwriting and the ordinances that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross therefore i decree and declare be set free this moment in the name of jesus shout a believing amen be set free this moment in the name of jesus be set free this moment in the name of jesus every manifestation in your life that is not of god i bring it to end right now in the name of jesus now i'd like you to lay your hands anywhere you are trusting god for a healing go ahead let's use a minute or two to do this just lay your hands if it's your head lay your hands on your head if it's your chest lay your hands on your chest if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest go ahead and believe go ahead and believe go ahead and believe jesus is a healing jesus he is able to for god had so highly exalted him and given him a name and office that is above every other name it says that at the name of jesus every knee shall bow of things in heaven things in the earth and things under the earth and that every tongue will confess that jesus is lord to the glory of the father therefore i declare god's people in the name that is above all names let god's people go now shout a loud amen let god's people go now i decree and declare from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name blood conditions be healed in the name of jesus migraine headaches be healed in the name of jesus bone conditions be healed in the name of jesus cancer be healed in the name of jesus fibroids be healed in the name of jesus lumbar spondylosis be healed in the name of jesus heart conditions be corrected in the name of jesus eye conditions be healed in jesus name ear conditions be healed in jesus name it doesn't matter what the sickness is it doesn't matter what the infirmity is in the name of my god who is also your god be healed this moment anyone holding a medical report that represents a death sentence because of this convention find rest in your health find rest in your health i prophesy over you you will not die you will not die i close the grave the gate of the grave on your behalf you will not die be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name now i decree and declare over your finances the spirit of the waster the spirit of poverty lack and want that only keeps you begging and borrowing by the power that raised christ from the dead i cause that spirit right now i cause that spirit right now i pray over your family everything that wants to destroy your integrity destroy your children destroy your spouse i command it to give way right now i command it to give way right now in the name of jesus for anyone here trusting god for a job i prophesy to you between now and the end of 2023 may my god visit you may my god surprise you make it may he make a way for you where there is no way in the name of jesus hear me any business that is in debt anyone who is in debt financial crisis personally or corporately i call upon the god of jeshuron in the name of jesus may god arise and use men to wipe your tears may god arise and use men to take you out of shame in the name of jesus hear me everyone who has what it takes to help you 
I call them helpers of destiny. Wherever they are, I prophesy to the north, the south, the east and the west. I gravitate your helpers towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph, and they brought him out of his dungeon. Whoever must send for you to bring you out of shame, to bring you out of calamity and misery, may my God put it in their hearts to honor you. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. I prophesy to you, the, the, the days of emptiness has come to an end now by the favor of God in the name of Jesus Christ hear me believers when men say there is a casting down I prophesy to you let it be for you that there is a lifting up a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side none shall hurt you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ for someone here under the sound of my voice quarter to shame may God raise help for you in the name of Jesus Christ and if there is anyone here the spirit of death is roaming around your life roaming around your family to see that you don't survive and reach the end of this year that people will say this man was in this convention but he did not enter 2024 I stand in the name of Jesus and I decree and declare you will live long you will live long I say it again you will live long you have no covenant with death you have no covenant with the waster in the name of Jesus finally I pray for you whatever will bring your spiritual life down the Bible says blessed is a man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor sit in the seats of the scornful it says but his delight is in the law of the Lord and on that Lord doth he meditate day and night he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yields fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither then it says whatsoever he doeth prospers I pray for you any destructive relationship that the devil has brought around you to destroy your passion for God to confuse you and make spirituality look like a waste I separate you from those relationships forever receive help from the Lord receive mercy from the Lord for someone by this time next year you return back ten times better you return back ten times better ten times wiser ten times more prosperous ten times healthier in the name of Jesus and in case I did not mention your desire I release my faith with you standing upon the grace of our father and every man of God in this place we agree under the corporate anointing that every desire that brought you for this convention you will never go back with it disappointed in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Psalm 112 says blessed is a man that feareth the Lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth you will not give birth to weak children you will not give birth to children who will kill you in the name of Jesus it says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever I hope you believe in the blessing of the Lord I pray for you you will not beg again I say it from the depth of my heart you will not beg again that mark of shame that is on your head that is called Ichabod everyone has said what is wrong with you where is the evidence of your serving God from today may your results answer your enemies Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Oh, see. 
The Lord is saying, I am looking for someone here who is prepared to be a sacrifice. I want to use you as, as a spectacular display of my glory. But there are still things you are withholding. There are still things you are withholding. And the Lord wants you to cry in the next one minute. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but hear me, I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. There are many of you, there are relationships you love more than God. There are business deals you love more than God. No. This realm of sacrifice, there are few people who have gotten there. There are pastors, maybe listening to me. The secret is not just your prayer. The secret is not just your fasting. You have prayed, Jesus prayed. You have fasted, Jesus fasted. You studied the word. But when your all becomes poured like a drink offering, you have approached it, a realm in the spirit where you will see the hand of God. I want to give you the next one minute. I apologize for stretching the time. Whether you want to lie down, whether you want to cry, you're going to say, Lord, this is me, all of me. I surrender everything. Everything. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Mean it with God. I'm withholding nothing. I surrender all to you. Everything I give. Don't be ashamed of your tears. It is the hand of God you desire. Listen to what you are saying. I'm withholding nothing. Sing it. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Will you give yourself away? That's a question that God is asking you tonight. Will you give yourself away so He can use you? You answer now. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. While still pray, just take a minute. You are not wasting your time. Father, every idol and everything that has stopped your hand from resting resting upon my life resting upon my finances ah your your arms are not too short that you cannot bring deliverance you have seen it from scripture that the hand of god can create the hand of god can sustain the hand of god can judge the wicked the hand of god can bring deliverance it can bring redemption the hand of god can lift man Hear me, man of God. The secret to being in ministry is to forget about ministry and focus on Him, loving Him, giving your all, pouring your all. Then you will find ministry. Businessman, some can trust in horses and chariots. But when God's hand decides to bring you a thing, it preserves, it keeps. 
for someone here you have tried and tried and tried god brought you to the oasis conference because he's saying stop this this up and down does not give god glory waking up in the morning and sleeping late in the night hustling through life only to eat the bread of sorrow help those somebody the anointing please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, calling you you've trusted in things of lesser value but he's showing you the path to the hand of God the hand of God is not just the name of a conference it's an experience that you can have and carry it can become your habitation your reality but only if your heart is stayed on revealing Jesus seeing that his will is birthed perpetually through your life that you walk in obedience that you live a life of worship huh. Paul and Silas they prayed but when they sang the Bible tells us that his mighty power came descended upon that prison room and all doors opened hallelujah Pair yourselves into three if you can. We are going to spend the remaining just three, three. If there's nobody there, just make it two or whatever. But please, we are going to pray. Help them under the anointing. We are going to pray. Just two, three minutes. You are going to begin to pray in the spirit. Find any hand you find there and begin to pray and make declarations over the person's hand you are holding in the name of Jesus. I declare I come as a prophetic rainmaker. Come on, Koinonia. Following from your home. Hold the hands of your children if you can. Hold the hand of your wife, your husband. Hold the hand of your neighbor. Whoever you find. Touch and agree by faith. I am a prophetic rainmaker. I program the spiritual climate of my brother and my sister. No more losses. No more failure. In the name of Jesus. Superior wisdom. Superior favor. Higher levels of power. Higher levels of grace. Strange breakthroughs by the Spirit. Pray. The anointing that is within me is finding expression in the name of Jesus. Man of God, pray and declare. It's a new season in ministry. It's a new season of exploits and impact for Jesus by the Spirit. The hand of God is upon me. Therefore, I speak in Psalms. I speak in hymns. I speak in spiritual songs, making melody in my heart even unto God. No failure in the name of Jesus. My path is as a shining light, shining ever brighter, even unto the perfect day. The Lord is my light and salvation. In the name of Jesus, I rise by revelation. The mighty hand of God is upon me. When men say there is a casting down, I declare.
by the spirit that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus the God of Joshua is arising for me by the power of the Holy Spirit I am blessed in the city blessed in the country Koinonia is blessed revealing Jesus bringing him glory across the nations of the earth declare pray over your brother I rebuke the plan of the devil over his life over her life in the name of Jesus perfect health perfect soundness you will not die before your time in the name of Jesus your relevance will not be cut short the spirit of the waster is far from you of nations the gates of territories are opening by the spirit in the name of Jesus the sick are healed oppressed delivered the confused find direction sinners come to Jesus pray for Nigeria declare over Nigeria Nigeria will not fall Nigeria will not be destroyed for the sake of the elect of God no matter the schemings of darkness the purposes of God over this nation over Africa and you who is watching by, or by television pray for your nation mention the name of your nation South Africa Kenya Ghana Rwanda, Uganda, Central African Republic, Cameroon, declare by the Spirit, Cote d'Ivoire, Africa is engulfed with the fire of revival. Europe, America, Australia, Asia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. This is how kings reign. This is how kings rule. This is how kings rise. For by your words you are condemned. And by your words you are justified. Hallelujah. I want to speak over your life. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up. Coming after me. No wall you won't kick down. Lie you won't tear down. Coming after me. One more time. No shadow you will light up. No shadow you won't light up. Mountain you will climb up. No worry, you won't kick down. Now you won't see it all. Loving us to me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life. That drought in your life, in the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Begin to For someone here, I prophesy to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain even. But I declare by all means, may your valley be filled. May your valley be filled. Yes. 
Hear me. According to the law of time and chance, for some of you, certain things have gotten to your turn, but demon spirits made it jump over you. I stand by the prophetic. I take it back to your turn. I take a I take it back to your turn. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. If there is any negative programming that came either by mistake or by ignorance you didn't know and you kept speaking things now that the devil is using for some of you based on what you have said you are not even more than two years left to live because you kept cutting your years with your words i stand by the power of the prophetic and in the name of jesus i cancel every word speaking against you I cancel every word speaking against you for the Bible says no weapon formed against you will prosper and he said every tongue that arises please hear me no matter who has said what against you maybe growing up maybe his parents sincere people but what they have said is being used by the devil it has become a, a negative rain making process by the power of the prophetic i cancel it now where they said you will fall i prophesy stand where they said you will not rise i speak fly not only rise in the name of jesus where they say you will not find helpers you will even have to choose who to help you where it has been programmed that you will lose your spiritual fire you will lose your relevance you will lose your bishopric you will lose your lampstand i prophesy 30 years from now if christ tarries you will still be standing final prophetic word anyone under the sound of my voice that this statement Ichabod has been roaming around your head that means you are good for nothing that means the glory has departed that means everybody who sees you they should treat you like an outcast in the name of Jesus I roll away that negative word I say it again for someone who has been trusting God for rain, your plans have refused to grow prophetically because the rain has refused to come. I stand tonight as a prophetic rainmaker and I say it again by the power of words because by these words the cloud is full of rain. May your rain begin to fall. Those of you in ministry, I announce to you this is your season of exploits. No power in existence will downplay and demean the anointing upon your life. Those of you who are diplomats and captains of industry, we clear the way for your relevance. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who are businessmen here, and it looks like there is an embargo on your business you have tried but it looks like you are not rising if you believe this prophetic word i declare in the name of jesus receive strange help from god and for everyone here who is in need of restoration may god do something that has not been done in your life since the beginning of this year hallelujah wave your hands to jesus and give him praise wave your hands to jesus a wave offering is a mystery in the spirit thank you jesus we bless you we receive this by faith hallelujah hallelujah breathe lord breathe breathe lord breathe
manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified, say breathe Lord, breathe Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Say, exalted, 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 exalted. a prayer. Will you breathe, Lord? Breathe, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe upon my life. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus. Nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. That's your prayer now. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe. Shema Salia Barada. Sing, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Turn it into a prayer tonight. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, 
in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down I want you to bring them out as God breathes right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of Jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now Satan by the breath of the spirit let God's people go now let God's people go now let God's people go now bring them out shalakatos ancestral causes yokes of darkness spirits of bondage familiar spirits that have tied down destinies i decree and declare release them now release them now release them now i receive i manifest your power your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up exalted i receive i manifest your power your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up The Lord is showing me I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women women in many families their destiny is not just maritally it has tied everything in their life in the name of Jesus as my God breathes upon this congregation every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft be released now be released now be released now! Be released now! Bela mashaba kasko barakosiata, egre kapaska lika parusiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinoni, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus, leave. 
lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. Says, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Now listen, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted, I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified, say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Say, exalted, 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 exalted. Is a prayer. Will you breathe, Lord? Breathe, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe upon my life. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus, lift it up. Till 
the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. That's your prayer now. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Shema Salia Barada. Sing, breathe, Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. my hands in the name that is above all names there are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now I decree and declare I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly father you gave me this song by the spirit and you said upon singing it the spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies therefore I stretch my hands at the count of three may this fountain break open one now take that grace now bring them out take that grace now take that grace now breathe lord
hands see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified till the nations bring them out see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe upon my heart in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down I want you to bring them out as God breathes right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of Jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now Satan by the breath of the Spirit let God's people go now let God's people go now let God's people go now Bring them out, shalakatos, ancestral causes, yokes of darkness, spirits of bondage, familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare, release them now, release them now, release them now. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women women in many families their destiny is not just maritally it has tied everything in their life in the name of Jesus as my God breathes upon this congregation every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft be released now be released now now be released now Belama shabakas ko barakosiata egra kapaskalika parusiata every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft at the count of three you're going to shout the name Jesus and as you shout that name that devil must let you go I like you to be sensitive Koinonia are you ready my father I pray that by the mystery of this your wisdom let the bound be free now at the count of three shout Jesus one two three
Father, where are they? Men and women who must testify of your mighty hand. May that grace rest upon you now. 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 Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his wisdom. His power receive manifest his power his wisdom to the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted to the nations see Jesus Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe upon my life. Very simple song. It says, breathe, Lord. I manifest your power and your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power. See Jesus lifted up, glorified. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted, say exalted, 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 exalted. Is a prayer. Will you breathe, Lord? Breathe, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe upon my life. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus.
See Jesus lifted up, exalted. Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, 
Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three.
is about to preach upon those trusting God for employment. I'm hearing this in my spirit that those who are trusting God to open career doors, right now I stretch my hands, let the breath of the spirit rest upon you at the count of three. Father, where are they? Men and women who must testify of your mighty hand. May that grace rest upon you now. 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 Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his power, his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus.
See Jesus lifted up, exalted.
Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Till the nations bring them out, see Jesus lifted up. Exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe upon my heart. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down i want you to bring them out as god breathes right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now satan by the breath of the spirit let god's people go now let god's people go now let god's people go now Bring them out, shalakatos, ancestral causes, yokes of darkness, spirits of bondage, familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare, release them now, release them now, release them now. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women, women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now, be released now. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft At the count of three You are going to shout the name Jesus And as you shout that name That devil must let you go I like you to be sensitive Koinonia are you ready? My father I pray That by the mystery of this your wisdom Let the bound be free now At the count of three Shout Jesus One Two, three. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Edge long captivities. Be released. Be released. Be released. Exalted. Exalted. Exalted, exalted, lift it up, lift it up, we lift you up, exalted, 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 breathe low, breathe, breathe low. The Lord is about to breathe upon those trusting God for employment. I'm hearing this in my spirit that those who are trusting God to open career doors. Right now I stretch my hands. Let the breath of the spirit rest upon you at the count of three. 
Father, where are they? Men and women who must testify of your mighty hand. May that grace rest upon you now. 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 Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his power. His wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. song says breathe the Lord
nations see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified till the nations bring them out see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe upon my heart in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down I want you to bring them out as God breathes right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of Jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now Satan by the breath of the Spirit let God's people go now let God's people go now let God's people go now Bring them out, Shalakatos, ancestral causes, yokes of darkness, spirits of bondage, familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare, release them now, release them now, release them now. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women women in many families their destiny is not just maritally it has tied everything in their life in the name of Jesus as my God breathes upon this congregation every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft be released now be released now be released now! Be released now! Elama shabakas kobarakosiata, egreka paskalika paruziata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three.
just testify of your mighty hand. May that grace rest upon you now. 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 now. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his power, his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus. You are going to get angry this night. This night we are going to pray. The Bible says Daniel in chapter 10. How that Daniel was praying and fasting. Wanting to get an understanding. And the Bible says the moment is there from the very first day. When he was coming the Bible says the prince of Persia. Withstood the angel 20 and 1 days. The prince of Persia. Withstood him. Until he kept praying. The moment that embargo was lifted, the angel said, now I am come to give the understanding. One of the chief princes came to help. Tonight there is divine backing of the angelic. As you pray, first for yourself, and then through the fire of the Holy Ghost, you will dislodge powers over your life, and then you will see testimonies rolling in. Suddenly you will find out that certain insights you have been struggling to get. Suddenly there is an open heaven. Your ministry or your fellowship takes another level as if Satan does not exist. This night, hear me. You are not praying for healing. You are confronting the gates of darkness. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Rise up on your feet. Listen. 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 I want you to know that heaven is backing you tonight. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say heaven is backing me. Say heaven is backing me. Because we are going to pray now. And by the power of the Holy Spirit. I tell you there will be an eruption of testimonies. After this night's meeting. You will know that the things that have been happening around your life and your family. They are not as ordinary as they look. You are the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. number one hallelujah you are going to pray and say in the name of Jesus I confront gates that are stopping the finances the finances grace that are making your family members not to be titers grace that are making them not to be givers lift your voice Financial Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hold on. 
This prayer must be serious this night. Please, let's have two of our school of ministry students, two prayer band. Benga, come. Kenny, come. Go on one of the mic. Our school of ministry students, where are you? Are you not? Tolu, come. Quickly, two, three. Well, you, it's okay. You could go and share the mic. Stand behind. When I say pray, if you are not praying, you will go back to your seat. You are not out for jamboree. We are going to pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Four horns. There are four prayer points we have. The Bible says they were sent before. This finance thing, you are going to pray. Lift your voice and pray.
The Bible says, hear me. The Bible says, there is no man, hear me, that will enter into a man's life and, and spoil the good, except he first finds the strong man. He said, and I will give you the keys of it. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of us will be surprised what will happen this night. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare and say, Satan, the Bible says through the greatness of thy power, right now, I command those forces bow. Lift your voice and pray. Bow. Bow. Are you still praying? The Bible says, when you catch a thief, listen please, when a thief steals your property and you catch that thief, he won't bring back what he stole. He said he will restore seven souls. This is what the Bible says. Seven souls. You are going to pray. See, listen. The Lord is showing me, in, I'm in a vision right now. 
He's and the Lord is showing me angels Baran holding has. baskets. Hear me. Yes. But the baskets are empty. Listen. Say good. Please follow me. <laughs> there is a prophetic atmosphere here. There are empty baskets. And I'm wondering, and the Lord is ministering to me. He's saying these baskets will be full of the blessings that are due God's people. See, see. Hear me. He said, and I will restore. Hear me. Canker worms can eat years of people's lives. So you are growing older, but nothing is happening. But this night, hey, I don't know about you, but I came to Koinonia. I'm placing a demand. Everything you know, Satan took. I'd like you to call it back and say, Restore. something to me. We are still praying on the third point. The Lord said we should call back opportunities that were either missed or wasted. Are you hearing me? There are some of you, some circles came into your life. Either by carelessness it passed. Let me tell you, it's only in this realm that you count time. In the realm of the spirit you can call time back. Hear me? I don't care what opportunity you missed. Restore. Whether it was an opportunity for marriage, Restore. for job, Restore. right now, I want you to call back Restore. that opportunity. It yes. will come back. Yes. I'm not going to do that. 
Some of you are tired. Rest on. But hold on. Rest on. Hear me. You never know how powerless Satan is until you engage in prayer. Satan will keep opening his eyes until you pray. When you pray, the devil will shrink and you see how powerless he is. Hallelujah. Now, one last prayer point. We'll add one more. You are going to confront the gates over your family. See, don't let anybody fool you that there are no gates. Let me tell you something. Some of you are the last card that God has to use over your family. If you don't do anything about it, don't think God brought you here just to waste your time. Listen. See me. Listen, listen. If you truly love your family members, effectual prayer is not just by shouting it is the seriousness put your heart in this prayer many of you as you pray you will begin to see vision see hear me listen let me tell you something listen listen I, see we don't kill people in this place but let me tell you god is a god of mercy but he's a god of judgment are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain horns. We don't care who these horns are. Unfortunately, sometimes, as this power is taking some human beings become victims, we don't kill people. But whatever it will take for the glory of your family to rise, you will pray it is that. Lift your voice.
yetu baraza katakata haleluya the bible says and that night Jacob wrestled with this he said I will not let you go and the bible says when he touched his thigh he said what is your name he said Jacob which means a cheat and a supplanter he said you are called Israel for as a prince you have sought with God and prepared he says and the sun rose and he called that place Peniel Hallelujah. I've told you as much, hear me. I've told you as much as possible. Please invite your loved ones for the miracle service. You don't hear me talk like this. We are only responding to the things that the Holy Spirit, if they refuse, no problem. For God will do a work in this place. Hallelujah. We'll take one more prayer point. Hallelujah. You're going to say, Lord, together as a family, nobody will rise and leave another. Are you hearing me? There will not be a few men of God rising, growing in grace. Hear me? There are certain things God has given us as a ministry. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. God has given us influence. God has given us prosperity. We are going to pray that the strongholds that attempt to raise their heads, listen, there will never come a time where we will not have testimonies here. The vision must speak. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to command and say every force that will want to stop the vision from speaking, it will speak in your own life. It will speak. If truly God has called us, something should come upon your life that you will become epistles of the vision. Lift your voice and pray for ear. <laughs> for all the arms of the ministry our school of ministry God is raising mighty, mighty men of power in all spheres, not just ministry you are going to pray for our students you are going to pray for the missions 
Hallelujah. You are going to pray for koinonia. You are going to pray for all of the things that we are doing. You are going to say, Lord, not one sick body will come and not be healed. Not one oppressed person. You are going to pray for grace to stand criticism. Grace to stand persecution. Grace to remain faithful. Grace to remain faithful. Grace to remain faithful. Hallelujah. I want to do something prophetic this night. Hallelujah. One of the things God has given us is the spirit of dominion. You know what dominion is? Dominion means to legislate the counsel of God in any sphere, in Satan notwithstanding. And among the many things that will happen to you tonight, I'm going to pray for you. That everything we stand for, your life must represent it. See, if you do not represent what we stand for, we are fake. It means we are lying. It means we are faking power somewhere. If we are healing the sick, you should heal the sick. You must not be in ministry. If we are humble and you are arrogant, there is something wrong with the transference of spirits. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I want you to believe, my brothers. Believe. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please be careful with the fans. Father, you didn't send us to waste people's time. You didn't send us to be noisemakers. My God, I am praying this night. Every power, every force against any area of your life, this night, if I be sent as a servant of God, if God has ordained us as one of these carpenters, I pray right now, those powers bow. 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 Every power hindering your marriage in this place, hear me, or the marriage of your loved ones, this night, I release you in the name of Jesus. Everything stopping your breakthrough. Breakthrough. As surely as the God of heaven lives. Between this night and next Friday, I command unbelievable breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. I invoke it from the heavens with the backing of Elohim. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Every close heaven in this place, whether it's as a result of non tithing or mistakes or whatever, I don't care what is responsible. Every heaven that is closed in this place, right now, this night, I pray, let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Hallelujah. This month, there are three things I'm speaking into your life now. Listen. Number one is authentic unction. Listen. Number two is favor that you cannot imagine. Listen. Number three is honor. Receive this threefold blessing. Receive it. Receive power. Power to heal the sick. Power to cast out devils. Hear me. In the name that is above all names. Whatever bows to us here. Let it bow to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever answers to us. Let it answer to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for your family. Hear me, enough is enough this night. Lift your hands. Super. Super. Your families will never believe you or the God you serve until there is an evidence. I pray, my God, that evidence of breakthrough that will compel families to know that you are at work. Let there be a release now. Let there be a release now. Let the angel of the Lord go across every state, every city. I instruct it. Every city. Saria, Abuja, Lagos, Calabar, Kodiste, Josh, angels in the name of Jesus. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Give testimonies. 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 So that they will know that your God is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is instructing me to do something dangerous. Please take off your shoes and stand on your feet. This is not diabolic, please. Don't go and start criticizing us and talking nonsense. Listen, something will come upon your life this night. Please listen. Listen. I don't do stupid things just because people are I don't have one. The Bible says, hear me. It says, anywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given to you. I want to pray, hear me. Many of you do not know the mystery of what is happening, but I want you to believe. You will be amazed. Because I see an angel of the Lord, pure red from head to toe. Never seen, listen, I've never seen this angel of the Lord. And this is what he was telling me. That there is an impartation and a transference. Hear me. The influence we enjoy as a ministry is not a mistake. Are you hearing me? God has honored us and taken us to where we cannot merit I want it to come upon your life this night. Lift your hands. Many of you will receive mighty impartations. Hear me.
you will see things answering. See, your Christianity will have results. Father, I stand as your servant tonight under the instruction that you have given me. My God, there is a spirit upon this ministry an operation of the Holy Ghost the operation of dominion and inexplainable influence at the count of three my God let every feet upon this ground receive that anointing and demonstrate it practically thank you Father one two three receive it take it take it take it take it take it Take it, take it, receive it, the spirit of communion, the action of kingdom more prayer God has given us inexplainable kingdom wealth and prosperity please lift your hands you need it I honestly want to pray from my heart that your financial heavens will be open in a way and I'm going to pray my God and my king I pray in the name that is above all names you have called and you have sent me lord if i be your servant at the count of three let an unction of inexplainable wealth let it come upon your people at the count of three one two three take it take it Take it! Take it! A mantle of prosperity! A mantle of wealth! A mantle of finance! Do, do mighty things for the kingdom! To feed the hungry! To clothe the poor! Wipe the tears from your family. Let this anointing bring you ideas. Let it bring you opportunities. Hallelujah. We are going to engage prophecy in a few minutes. We are going to pray seriously. Do not let the devil distract you. It is in this prayer that your faith is released to be on course for the many great things. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he. Blessed is he who comes in the name of my God. Go ahead and pray in the spirit for a minute or two. Shapako sata branda gebeleko sata flaska debeleko. 
Shaprate ke baratos kaprate shalakato pranda sadebalakatos. Someone is praying all across the globe. Please pray. Following by way of television, internet, and all our social media platforms, connect in the spirit right now. It's a year of open doors. Pray and say, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe your word. Lord, I believe. I believe your word. Someone is praying. Declare that I believe. I believe your word. It shall be unto me according to your speakings. In the name of Jesus, December be open. 2023 be open in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. I decree and declare every month. Be open. Deliver that which is locked up within you. Hallelujah. Please help those under the anointing. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that in this year of open doors, I prophesy over my life and destiny all doors open open your mouth and begin to pray decree and declare mention every door you know command it to open all doors all doors marital doors financial doors ministerial doors business doors health doors the door of your mind the doors to your influence the doors of kingdom service the doors to greater anointing the doors to revelation someone is praying all doors open all doors open Open. All doors open. Someone is praying. All doors open. All doors open. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Shaprakata pakatos koto prende ke pareko toskatia. Krapa kata parakatos. All doors, all doors, all doors. I insist, all doors. Someone insists in the place of prayer. All doors, outside, all the overflows. Make sure you are praying, Zaria. Make sure you are praying. Our global family, all who are connected, pray. All doors open. Open. All doors open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me please. Hear me. I'm going to lead you to make a declaration 
the moment you make that declaration you are at liberty if you want to turn to the east the south the west because we are going to speak to all the the prophetic regions the four corner regions he said son of man prophesy to the four winds not one wind not one direction four is the number of balance and stability you are going to declare whether it's the north south east and west in the name of jesus everywhere this door is i prophesy to those directions you must open say in jesus name i decree and declare northern doors southern doors eastern doors western doors hear ye the word of the lord be open now open your mouth and begin to speak declare over every region spiritually and geographically someone is stretching your hands to the north you are declaring by the spirit northern doors hear the word of the lord southern doors hear the word of the lord eastern doors hear the word of the lord western doors even in the spirit Efata, be open Efata, be open Efata, be open Be open. The four winds breathe upon this lane in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Let the winds be open. Let the doors be open. in jesus name i pray shout this say every spirit stand in my way as a closed door i decree and declare the lord rebuke you open your mouth and pray every spirit Every hindrance that stands as a spirit, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you for a great door and an effectual is open up to me. But many are the adversaries. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Spirits of delay, backwardness, retrogression, failure at the edge of breakthrough. The Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. 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 You are going to prophesy over your hands and your feet. Listen. You see, the hands and the feet are two mysteries in the Bible. When they caught Peter, they did not tie his eyes. They tied his hands and his feet. Because these are your instruments for movement and motion when you tie a man's hand and you tie a man's feet you have tied his ability to be strong and demonstrate strength and also his ability to make progress you are going to pray over the works of your hands and pray over your feet listen the bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord that you are not going to do one leg forward 
and 10 steps backward and you are going to pray whatever has made the works of your hands to keep recycling shame and pain you are going to cause it right now is someone ready to pray say in the name of Jesus my hands you carry the blessing upon you my feet you carry the blessing upon you therefore I release you for my progress open your mouth and begin to pray your hands as a preacher as a businessman as a politician as a career person I prophesy my hands my feet will lead me to progress by the Spirit of the Living God I go forward not around I go forward I go forward every step being a greater one someone declare 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 Forward, forward. Hallelujah. 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 Don't be tired of praying. We're activating this grace. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Do you believe in prosperity? Because we are going to pray now. And ask that the door that is restricting you from entering the place God has earmarked for your blessing. Believe me when I tell you until he says thou has caused men to ride upon our heads we we went through fire and through water but thou causes us to come into a wealthy place i can tell you when the blessing is not manifested in your life as prosperity it will interrupt many useful things in your life poverty can be a door that stops you from going forward many great things you want to build you want to make progress some of you want to partner with the house of god like never before but this demon spirit of poverty there are many conferences many outreaches many things to do for the kingdom there are many pastors in ministry they are limited they are owing they are in debt there are many business people some of you what you used to do before in terms of blessing others you no longer can do it that door must be cleared out of the way it takes more than a good heart to be a blessing remember your commitment number four that you will be a blessing this year believe me it takes resources you've heard me say the name of Jesus is heavy it takes resources to lift it up for the nations to see if you are going to live a life of integrity and dignity and decorum especially as a minister of the gospel that you are not playing pranks and manipulating people you will need to access the supplies of heaven someone say in the name of Jesus financial doors open Op open up your mouth and pray financial doors open ideas insights access to light doors of value open doors of strategic relationships open strategic relationships open strategic relationships open strategic relationships open someone is praying strategic relationships open Financial doors open. Financial doors open. Hallelujah. Listen. 
Hear me, believers. Let me tell you the truth. Right from the one in this ministry, I'm not ashamed. I'm not one of those preachers that play games over. I hate poverty. It is clear. I will never like it. I will never teach it. I will never endorse it. I know the destructive effect of not having economic power to a people, to a territory, to a nation. You, you embrace a life of poverty and mediocrity, no matter the spiritual explanation, you're on your way to not doing much for the kingdom. What we manage is lost and exiting Christ out of your pursuit for wealth. When your pursuit for wealth becomes a, an appetite for the gratification of the flesh, it compromises on your spiritual life, your passion for God, and it is not used as a tool to reveal him now we will frown at that but not that resources please don't there are many of you your children need to get out of some schools into other schools if you mean well for their future are we together you send your child to a school he returns back as if he's a demon asking you questions that even as an adult you cannot sleep but it takes resources there are many people today who cannot lead many to Jesus because the resources are not there. I vowed a vow that I will never lead the people who are only spiritual. I believe in the power of influence. And you cannot be around the corridors of influence being poor. Settle it once and for all that poverty is of the devil. If you love Jesus and you love his purposes, you will embrace the blessings of the Lord. We are very outspoken about Jesus being exalted above everything. But please hear me, Africa. Let's be delivered from this demon that has kept us and wrapped up through the guise of religion to keep people poor. And then at the same time, advocating prosperity from a, a standpoint that does not glorify Jesus, a standpoint that is a marketing of the flesh, that leaves people to stealing, killing, and destroying, all to prove that their faith is working. This is not what I'm saying. That is absolute nonsense. We are teaching wealth and increase with a heart that is stayed on God and prosperity in your hand that has a mission. This is what we are advocating. But as for poverty, you will not find it here till Jesus comes. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going to pray that the doors of strategy strategic and prophetic relationships be open listen 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 in Luke 11 when the man was in trouble he went to his friend's house you don't go to an enemy's house to ask for help that means you have to first have a friend before that friend can help you is that true there are many of us who are suffering alone as if you were exempted from any from the death you know the sacrifice of jesus simply because you have not mastered the art of trusting great and valuable relationships this is the year where god has to connect you strategically to people all blessings come from god through men to men my friend I have had some visitors even though it's late please can you bend over backwards for my sake there is a friend that stick it closer than a brother let me tell you we live in days now where it is only God that can bring men to you by the time you use your eyes and your brain you are going to spend your life recycling pain you need to pray and say father I don't know what door is closing my strategic relationships that includes destiny helpers and i've taught you that there are four kinds of destiny helpers never forget number one divine connectors number two men and women of influence number three gifted men number four burden bearers you need these four people in your life say in the name of jesus shout it again say in the name of jesus father i decree and I declare that the doors of strategic destiny relationships be open up to me open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray someone is praying 
Strategic relationships. Strategic relationships. Business relationships. Ministry relationships. Marital relationships. Career relationships. Someone pray. There are relationships that if and when introduced to your life can become the ladder that elevates you to heights unimagined. When Jonah entered a boat, people lost their properties and almost lost their lives. When Jesus entered a boat, they were preserved. Pray! Doors of relationships be opened. Doors of relationships be opened. Strategic relationships. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now in the last prayer point, we are going to pray for Koinonia. This is a ministry that we are all part of. This is not one man's ministry and we are participating. No. Koinonia is everybody's business and everybody's concern. Hallelujah. I told you that in this ministry, there are no fans. Uh -uh. Fans don't have an inheritance. It is people who connect. We may be far and wide across the many nations and continents, but love, covenant, and understanding has bound us together as a global family. While it is true that we are sent to the body of Christ, but it is fair that we look inwards and pray for this, our Jerusalem. You are going to pray for Koinonia right now, whether you are watching from Europe, you are watching from America, from across Africa. This is a gift that God gave to the nations, even at such a time as this. We are going to pray and cry. Father, the, the fire of revival, salvation, transformation, miracles, signs and wonders, it will never go down in this ministry. Open your mouth and please pray. Pray like you are praying for yourself. Pray like you are praying for your children. Pray like you are praying for that which God committed to your hands. You are part of this vision. Make sure you pray. Father, high level spirituality. This will be a place where spiritual men are made. Mentored, taught doctrine, guided by the Spirit. This is a ministry that will continue to function by the influence of the Spirit. This is Bethel, the place of bread, the place of the word. This remains a place of excellence, a place of character in the name of Jesus. A place of the manifestation of the power of God in unprecedented dimensions. To heal, to deliver, to set free in the name of Jesus. The fire of revival from this house will engulf the nations of the earth. And we declare all the meetings this year, the koinonia meetings, the apostolic and prophetic meetings across this nation, across the African nations and the continents of the earth. In the name of Jesus, there are moments of encounter, moments of salvation, moments of transformation. We will bring healing to governments, healing to nations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray over the teachings that in the name of Jesus, they are anointed afresh. The teachings will mentor kings. The teaching will mentor nations. The teachings will be tools for revival tools for healing transformation many will come to jesus through these teachings pray for all the sons and daughters in ministry connected to this vision in the name of jesus they are excelling in the name of jesus they are excelling pray for all the fathers that bless and speak over this ministry in the name of Jesus the Lord will keep and preserve them for our sake to keep speaking over our lives as we rise in the name of Jesus Christ pray for all the businesses in this ministry they will not fail pray for all the organizations in this ministry 
in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus revealed Jesus glorified in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Jesus spoke to Peter and said thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church he says and the gate of hell shall not prevail we have prayed for koinonia the meaning of that is that everything in your life because you are part of this vision everything must answer to that prayer Amen. koinonia cannot go up and you go down koinonia cannot go forward and you go backward i decree and declare in the name of jesus we all rise together in the name of jesus we all shine together in the name of jesus we all reveal jesus together for in the mighty name of jesus we pray so i welcome you to 2023 the year of open doors in jesus name i'm not a killer i don't kill but i know that i've been instructed to crush the head of any generation that is not human say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i command i command the sword of vengeance the sword of vengeance upon every entity upon every entity manipulating my destiny manipulating my destiny manipulating my family lift your voice and pray I tell you something is shifting in the spirit. I know something is happening. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. I prophesy over my territory. Over my territory. Over my family. Over my family. Over my loved ones. Over my loved ones. Every gatekeeper. Every gatekeeper. Holding the keys. Holding the keys to their next level. To their next level. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command the gate open now. I command. and see what happens to your life listen say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every seed every seed 
in me, in in me. me. That is not of Christ. That, that is not, not of Christ. Christ. I speak to you. I, I speak, speak to you. Your time is up. Your, Your time, time is up. Leave my body now. Leave my body now. Hallelujah. My God. Fire is burning. Fire is burning. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant. Every covenant. Over my life. Over my life. Every covenant, every covenant over my family, over my family, every covenant, every covenant over my loved one, over my loved one that is not of Christ, that is not of Christ, and is bringing us failure, and is bringing us failure, is bringing us pain, is bringing us pain, is bringing us defeat, and is bringing us defeat by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I shatter those altars. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Listen. Just pray what I tell you. Whether you understand what I'm saying or not. The Lord just showed me something now and we are going to pray. Are we together? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name, the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Every door. Every, every door. door. That has given Satan access. That, that has given Satan access to visit me. To visit me in dreams, in in dreams, dreams and encounters. And encounters. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare that door is closed now. That door is closed. Lift your voice and pray. Every single in my in my Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. Something is happening. You will see the testimonies that will come out from tonight's prayer. We are still praying. Listen. They come to you in the night and try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They try to press you. They come as animals. They use the faces of men you know. 
they are not humans they are watchers say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i decree and declare i decree and declare every stranger every stranger oppressing me at night oppressing me at night by the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost i break your hold over my life i break the hold of voice and pray Hallelujah. One of the greatest areas, hear me, fire is burning in this place, I tell you. One of the greatest activities of these entities is to stop the gospel from reaching your home. You can preach to others. You can be holding crusades, raising wheelchairs. But if that gospel nears your compound, here they come. They are watchers. You can preach to anyone else, sing to anyone else. But if that thing comes near your compound, are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus I declare. I, I declare that the gospel, that the gospel, gospel of salvation, of salvation, of healing, of healing, of restoration, of restoration, reaches all my loved ones. Reaches all my loved ones right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. Aside from the Gospels, the greatest area of attack of these entities is marriage and family life. Listen to me. If they cannot stop you from settling down, they stop fruitfulness. Or they plant something in your child. You give birth to a child who becomes something else. It's not normal. We are going to pray. Listen, every sister here, when it's time to pray, lay your hands on your womb. Listen, I'm blasting tongues and pray. I will not give birth to an entity that is another spirit. Lift your voice and pray. anyone here having visitations of spirits coming to you in the night molesting you whether as animals as humans male or female i declare right now 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I decree and declare, let that fire separate you and them right now. Separate you and them right now. Separate you and them right now. Lift your hands and pray. I prophesy over every family tree of which you are part of. If there be any seed of Belial, any seed kapatata, of the prince of darkness in your lineage, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of Jeshurun oh, and I decree and declare let fire land on that lineage today. Let fire land on that lineage tonight. Lift your hands. Was he praying? The altars of impotency, the altars of barrenness, the altars, just keep your hands lifted, of poverty, the altars of untold hardship that have been programmed in lineage, in many lineages represented here. Right now I decree and declare, let the fire fall and destroy them. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Let the fire fall and destroy Amen. them. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray. Dangerous prayer. Apostle James said. That when you want a body to stop functioning, remove the spirit in the body. These entities are combinations of spirits and bodies. There is a strategy for stopping their function. I decree and declare in the name that is above all names. That if there is any of those entities, please listen, I'm praying now. I'm seeing fire falling on people. That if there is any entity whether in our villages or our homes that is not a pure human sent by darkness right now i cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies Amen. i cause a separation between their spirits Amen. and bodies. i command the heads to open and swallow them Amen. I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. If there is anything that your family should have handled today I don't care whether it's position of influence there are some of you where you are with your love for God you should not be at that level now yes, but there is something programming your remaining there can I prophesy a lifting yes, for somebody in the name of Jesus tonight by this grace and unction I declare to you every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. therefore i prophesy to you beginning from tonight rise to a level you have never seen rise to a new dimension of influence rise to a new dimension of power hallelujah can i prophesy over your finances yes, sir. do you believe it <laughs> the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established he said believe in his prophets don't mind this our arrogant generation that will not listen to the word are we together let me tell you something 
there is something called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of God in the name of Jesus I speak to you by this time tomorrow I'm saying it if you have the faith to receive I stand in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God by this time tomorrow may my God surprise you by this time tomorrow I prophesy to you I shift things I shift wealth to you from the realm of the spirit I command strangers I seize their sleep may they bless you I instruct them I set it as an ordinance in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ it's not by might it's not by power it's by the spirit listen you will be surprised at the testimonies you hear tomorrow some of you you will be minding yourself after the grace just walking home and before you reach home you are already crying for joy and saying what is this what is this listen if you can receive for your family i stretch my hands some of them think you are wasting your time coming every day but may my god give them a sign tonight may my god surprise them with a sign tonight a sign that will bring them by themselves tomorrow may my god give them a sign tonight listen listen let me tell you something we're rounding up you see before you believe a man go and find out his track record don't just believe foolishly ask questions this person talking like this as he said it before and what happened the bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers it's not pride it's the truth this seven days was designed to change us listen tomorrow i'm going to give you some instructions huh by friday you are going to carry your documents and the rest and come with it let me see the devil let me see the principality except it is not god that ordained this ministry you will see what my god will do there must come a time in your life where god will shift you if you don't shift it's your fault oh let me tell you this hallelujah I'm praying over finances we're rounding up already I, I didn't plan to talk about this but the Lord just put it in my spirit it's not so that you come and so please don't come out here if you don't know what you are doing please it's, it's not it's not a ritual we're not playing games here but I want to pray for people who can believe this man you see standing before you by his grace is a steward of the mysteries of God the Bible says let every man minister according to the measure of grace do you understand I can look at someone and say take 10 naira from my pocket this is me a man talk more the God of heaven but he's helpless until someone declares please just believe me once I beg you in the name of Jesus this night just be you can insult me if it doesn't happen but just believe I want to pray again for your finances in the name of Jesus Christ I pray and I ask my God the God who has taken me by his grace the God who took this ministry by his grace I stand before his altar and I program a climate of strange favor over your life I program a climate of strange favor over your life I program a climate don't ask where it will come from you will not see the wind you will not see rain but I program a climate of strange favor over your life huh? 
If there is anything anyone has stolen from you, I'm prophesying. Some of you will go back home and find it there. Nobody brought it. In the name of Jesus, you will go back home and find it waiting for you there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Yeah. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. The grace to hear you. Listen, I like you to cry with all your heart. Lord, grant me the grace. I'm tired of thinking it is you when it is not you. Let your voice be mighty upon the waters. Speak to me, O God, concerning ministry. Speak to me, O God, concerning family.
God cleanses your ears and helps you listen listen the voice of God will take away wastage from your life wastage there are many men of God whose ministries finances have gone down because they didn't hear God they organized conferences God was not in it yes souls were saved yes lives were transformed there are many people who should not even have churches but they thought they had this is not to scare you but I'm being sincere with you happy is the man whose ears can hear the voice of God because you see we live in an arrogant society where people and their pride will mislead you away from God this our world is very proud you see people who don't know where they are going but they make you feel stupid for staying where God said you should stay and if you are not careful they will rob you of the courage to stand until you fall with them if I followed what people said if I followed what people wanted to do in my life if I followed what people wanted me to do I would have crashed in life and crashed in ministry some of us after koinonia listen i this we have one more service maximize it are we together some of us after this service you, you should go and find somewhere even if it's for one hour in the night to say lord this issue of hearing you you have to tidy this in my life everything you claim god told you by now we know he's not the one that said it don't feel ashamed but you must go back and say what is this families have died they have lost loved ones simply because people could not hear the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter days the spirit speaketh expressly expressly God who in sundry times and diverse manners spoke to us through the prophets had in this last day spoken to us through his son the word that he has appointed heir over all things god is still speaking speaking to men and women and by speaking is not just you need to know you need to pray that god purifies your dreams some of us our dreams have been hijacked by forces let me tell you many things god wanted to tell you in dreams but there are powers that have hijacked the dreams to the point that now you don't even trust it yet dreams and visions it says i have multiplied visions i have spoken in similitudes even by the prophets these are all spiritual channels of prophetic communication let's use one more minute to speak that the blood of god the blood of jesus speaks over your dreams over your discernment and say lord i crush the voice of wickedness let there be a purification of the dreams of the vision a purification i cause manipulations of dreams and visions by the gates of hell confusing men confusing women confusing men of god confusing destinies we crush it in the name of jesus working with time in the next two or three minutes you are going to cry a, you are going to do a corporate prayer of repentance before god don't be too proud oh 
you are going to cry before the god of it you don't have to lie down or whatever whatever position is comfortable not as an act of condemnation genuinely before the god of heaven and say lord i'm standing in repentance if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways some of you need to pray on behalf of your children on behalf of your husband on behalf of your wife lord i take the responsibility of priesthood there are men of god who need to stand on behalf of their congregations there are business ceos that need to stand on behalf of their corporations lord we plead mercy over every altar of sin and iniquity that is empowering every other negative altar death delays retrogression stagnation please pray god is giving you a chance those following from your homes following by way of television or internet when a moment of deep brokenness and repentance a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise mercy oh god mercy oh god give me psalm 51 while you are praying i'm going to be reading for you psalm 51 please give us psalm 51 while we pray have mercy on me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression verse 2 please hurry up wash me thoroughly from my iniquity cleanse me from my sin for i acknowledge my transgression my sin is ever before me against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in your sight verse 4 that thou mightest be justified please give us verse 4 we're not done when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest verse 5 behold i was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts shalt thou make me to know wisdom uh-huh purge me with high soap and i shall be clean wash me and i shall be whiter than snow make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities verse 10 create in me a clean heart O god and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from your presence take not thy holy spirit from me verse 12 restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and behold me with this and uphold me with a free spirit then i will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to thee deliver me from blood guiltiness O god thou god of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness O lord open thou my lips and my mouth shall speak forth your praise for thou desirest not sacrifice else i would have given it thou desirest not in bond offering thou delightest not in bond offering the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit and a contrite heart O god thou shalt not despise next verse do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build thou the walls of jerusalem someone is praying then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar lift your voice in one minute you are praying for yourself pray for your organization lord i found out the reason behind these consistent plagues consistent pain consistent delay 
consistent retrogression, consistent failure, consistent sickness. Shabrende geba lakatos kodo brende leka pariata. Shagete bas mercy, mercy in the name of Jesus, mercy. We come boldly to the throne of grace. We obtain mercy and we find grace to help in time of need. Mercy for Nigeria. Mercy for our regions. Mercy for Koinonia. Mercy for every family here. Mercy for every business. Mercy for every captain of industry. Every politician. Every head of parliament. Every professional. Mercy for our children. Mercy. For those who have gone ahead of us. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number two. As for me and my house. Lord I agree with you this day. That I will serve the Lord. No other name. No other God. No other force. No other influence. Someone is praying. Please pray. Whether you come from Lagos. Whether you come from Plateau State, from Kaduna State, from Maiduguri, from Enugu, Anambra, Cross River, Port Harcourt, it does not matter whether you are from the FCT. Lord, as for me and my house, I dissociate myself from the ordinances of idols. Someone is praying. I dissociate myself from the worship of deities, fraternities with gods, that are not the true God I declare that as for me and my family I worship the one true God Jesus the son of the living God it doesn't matter what shrine you went to it doesn't matter what the fathers did Lord we pray as a nation Lord we pray as a region as for me and my house as for me and this ministry someone pray as for me and my children pray as for me and my wife as for me and my husband as for me and my corporation outside make sure you are praying all the overflows as for me and my house we will live for Jesus we will serve the Lord Pastors, pray. As for me and the vision God has given me, no consulting mediums, no consulting powers, no consulting shrines. It is Jesus only. Jesus ever. Jesus only. Jesus ever as the source of power, as the source of revelation, as the source of illumination. No bribery. No corruption. Shabranda geba lakatos koto brede keto la sedia. Embra kata pa kute sabari kete. Pastors pray. No manipulating members. Sincerity of truth. Loving them and serving them. In the name of Jesus. Now don't be tired. We are still praying. Right now. On legal basis. You are going to pray. And declare. That every altar. 
that he that told has had any legal grounds on your life the blood is against it he said we overcame them by the blood of the lamb someone open your mouth and begin to decree in the name of jesus the blood of the everlasting covenant is against altars of untimely death pray you know what altars by the patterns in your life call it by name and cause it by the god of heaven operations of poverty operations of failure at the edge of breakthrough visitations of wicked spirits molesting you that everything you do seems to fail of the throne of grace I come by the backing of the throne of grace Someone pray. A new order is emerging from you tonight. Your children will thank you. Your children's children will thank you. They will say, at what point did this transformation start? And you will tell them, when I found the revelation of the mystery of altars. Someone prophesy. My father may have died early. My mother may have died early, but I will not die early. I will not die on timely death. In the name of Jesus, I am crushing that altar by the power of the blood of Jesus. Pray. Graduate from the family. No job. No lifting. Pray. People don't get married. Or they get married and the homes don't stay. Barrenness, repetitive patterns, failures in business. Someone pray. The operation of these altars come to an end from Lagos to Abuja to Maiduguri to Kaduna State to Rivers to Cross River to Kogi State. I don't care how long they have lasted. Lord, we pray. Someone pray. Ilana malakata brada gete belakatosh, shagra gete berakatosh kate lakata, embra gete bras kate lakata brada gete, egra gete gete baros kate lakata, embra pakato bra gete balakata prehedesh. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, someone pray. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We are bringing a new order. Pray for your family. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of children becoming useless. Enough is enough of people never finishing what they start. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. In the name of Jesus. When I started ministry and I discovered that not many people from my region had had the privilege to rise to a global level and to stay and to last sustainably in ministry, I said minus me. But I knew that it would not just be empty talk. You see, let me tell you something about altars. They don't care whether you are a pastor. They don't care whether you are whatever. Once there is no compliance, you can stand and be making a lot of noise and yet nothing will happen. I made up my mind that I will serve the purposes of God at a global level and that anything that pegs people from my region and keeps them at a particular level, that it will be my lifetime I will rewrite that narrative. You are going to pray one more prayer 
before i speak over it. please don't be tired you came here tonight to deal with these things once and for all you are going to pray my destiny and my glory i connect you to the throne of grace go ahead and pray my destiny and my glory you are connected to that altar called the throne of grace my destiny and my glory you are not connected to ancestry my destiny and my glory you are not connected to wizardry and human manipulation my destiny and my glory you are not connected to earthly and platforms you are connected to the throne of grace someone pray my destiny my glory pray for your ministry my business your influence the workings of the spirit in your life connected to the throne of grace backed up by the king of kings himself backed up by the blood of the eternal covenant the meaning of that is no enchantment and no divination no enchantment no activities of wizardry necromancy the wasters of destiny they have no access to your life again connected to the altar Please pray, you are not wasting your time. Connect your business. By faith in the Son of the Living God. Not as a blind ritual. No. Let it be known in the realm of the Spirit that from this day forward, I am no longer connected to ancestry. Someone is praying. Let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward, I am not connected to the limitations of bloodline. Let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward, connected to the throne of grace. Let it be known to principalities and powers. Let it be known to thrones and dominions that there is a switch of loyalty. Let it be known to principalities and powers that there is a switch of loyalty from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God's dear son. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hear me, my dear people. Everyone is destined by Christ to rise. There is nobody who is destined to remain down. Please place your right hand on your head prophetically. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wake for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. Please don't be distracted. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Any system of authorization, whether as a result of personal sin, whether as a result of territorial sin, of foundations and bloodline by the mercy of god i decree and declare 
their legal hold over you is hereby broken. Hereby broken. Therefore, every negative pattern, every frequent occurrence that is inconsistent with that which the word of God says should be, in the name that is above all names, I bring to end those patterns now. I bring to end those patterns now. Patterns of untimely death. Patterns of perversions. Patterns of delay. Patterns of limitation. Be broken now. Patterns of poverty and begging and hardship be broken now patterns of mediocrity and inferiority be broken in the name of jesus hear me where you have not risen to before by reason of these limitations i stand by the power of the holy ghost rise to that level rise to that level in career rise to that level hear me if there is anyone here whose destiny is not opened and is not speaking you love god you are sincere but your life is grounded and that's what you have seen happen to other people in the name of jesus i decree and declare like a little flower opens up and begins to bud i command your destiny to open up open up financially open up hallelujah now in the name of jesus if there is any priesthood servicing any altar against you whether by reason of where you come from that means there are human beings alive who continue to fuel those altars manikesh shabarata ebre katoskadia makabraskada latoshenekete ebre kete barata in the name of jesus i bring to an end the reign of such priesthood their enchantments will no longer work like the prophets of baal they will not receive any answers again we shut the realm of the spirit against them we shut the power of the sun against them we shut the power of the wind against them we shut the power of the earth against them in the name of jesus every medium of expression ceases to work for them If there is anyone here having any infirmity in your body that has defied medical attention and you know that this is a direct result of witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus that sickness leaves your body now help them please that sickness leaves your body now high blood pressure diabetes hepatitis in aparish kote bata it leaves your body now lumps and growths in your body demonic things that have defied some of you have had surgeries again and again and it will not go i curse it now in the name of jesus hear me every experience of seeing dead people come to harass you my bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common there are times you may have encounters with the spirits of just men made perfect but that does not bring oppression in the name of jesus the system that authorizes familiar spirits to use the faces of men and oppress you and plant all kinds of things in your body and your destiny it is broken now it is broken now that power
powers poverty and lack in the name of Jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing I, I, I pray for you now may death leave you alone we are wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of Jesus I pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns, the ones who open the womb, they are the ones who become the, the chief victims. I pray for you here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward, I command it right now, at the count of three, may fire come upon that altar. One, two, three, take that fire now. Take that fire now. The cause of firstborn. I curse you right now. The cause of firstborn. I capatas kotebata. I curse you right now. Hear me. If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. The spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in Jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now two more prayers and we're done my goodness fire is burning in this place Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit Whether it's your favor Your job Your lifting Your children Your relationships In the name of Jesus This moment By the power of the name, the blood and the word I declare a release now I announce a prophetic jubilee now In the name of Jesus Christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you will be surprised at what will happen to you now I want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this I stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and I pray over your people. The head of a man is a symbol of his glory. I want to pray for you. Something will happen to you now. Every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of Samson. Every spirit in the similitude of Delilah. That has come to make that your glory is cut short. Financial Delilahs. Ministerial Delilahs. Career Delilahs in the name of Jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of Samson grew back in the realm of the spirit I pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of God rest on it now rest on it now I make this declaration by prophecy therefore 
that in the name of Jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again in the name of Jesus we've overshot our time lift I want you to shout this loud and clear just help those under the anointing say father I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life over my destiny I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus, covenants of delay, covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression, covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare be broken now open your mouth and pray be broken ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people be broken be broken redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood the ransom has been paid a visa has been made. The Father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto prende kete. Ekra kata barakatos koto prende kete lekatuzia. Embra kapa katos koto prende kete bariakata. Shane kete shara katos koto prende kete balakata. hallelujah shout it very loud and clear say seasons of weeping seasons of shame seasons of embarrassment seasons of retrogression by the power of the blood come to an end in my life now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray seasons of shame reproach embarrassment come to an end in the name of jesus come to an end in the name of jesus
come to an end come to an end Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata come to an end hallelujah now hear me you are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration say in the name of jesus everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word i call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of god relationships by the spirit of god resources by the spirit of god mantles by the spirit of god restoration 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 hallelujah hallelujah please don't be tired i know that i've stretched you a bit but i beseech you by the message of god please be patient and let's just finish this say after me in the name of jesus the spirit of the waster listen listen your confessions matter there is the spirit of a waster it can waste life's resources say again in the name of jesus the spirit of a waster the spirit of untimely death the spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. Pe baraka push koto brande ke para. Ekre katas katela katashubre here. Makabranda katabarata. You are caused by the God of Heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny. That has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Aleda kaparu kafesh, nakabranda kaparekesh, ebrotos koto brandi gebalia, kapra kapara koto skoto brande gebale gebia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus. Come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Caused it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Caused it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cost it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. 
I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Kaprenda gataperaka tosko tu brekia. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you. Coming as a woman that sleeps with you. Coming as animals. All kinds of demonic things. Cause them by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come. Bring them out right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Courses, be broken now. Courses, please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time. Courses, every course powered by an altar standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Causes. I'm arresting causes. Negative pronouncement. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire or oh, patash koteka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire, fire by the power of the holy ghost Anatas katika tepa rakatos, eprakatos kotusa neka tepa lakatos yata, emprekati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. 
be delivered now. Hear me. Anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or unknowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, every shrine where that thing is right now, I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic. I set it on fire now. Tokens and instruments of connection. I set it on fire. I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now. Listen. Listen to me. We're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again. Whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you receive, knowingly or unknowingly, that is being used as a token of manipulation, I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive, they sat on altars powering Satan and not allowing people to move. There are whole villages and territories. They renewed their life with young people and they remain there. I call upon the God of heaven. May the ground open and swallow them this moment. Help them, please. Help them, help them. May the ground open and pakato scatter. May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship. All of you are graduates but no job. Everybody with master's PhD, yet nothing to write home about. Father, let fire right now from heaven. Every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of Jesus be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Hear me. If there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die. Listen, when you read the book of Esther, you will see that by divination, a date was already put to attack the Jews. I pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and Satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing I, I pray for you now may death leave you alone we are wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of Jesus I pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns, the ones who open the womb, they are the ones who become the, the chief victims. I pray for you here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward, I command it right now, at the count of three, may fire come upon that altar. One, two, three, take that fire now. Take that fire now. 
the cause of first bonds. I curse you right now. The cause of first bonds. I kapata skote bata. I curse you right now. Hear me. If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were, in Jesus' name, may that altar be destroyed now. Help them, please. May that altar be destroyed now. Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit, whether it's your favor, your job, your lifting, your children, your relationships, in the name of Jesus, this moment, by the power of the name, the blood, and the word, I declare a release now. I announce a prophetic jubilee now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Final prayer. Please place your hand on your head, prophetically. Your head is a sign of your glory. You will be surprised at what will happen to you now. I want to pray for you. Father, you instructed that we do this. I stand by the priestly, the apostolic and the prophetic mantle. And I pray over your people. The head of a man is a symbol of his glory. I want to pray for you. Something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again in the name of jesus we've overshot our time lift i want you to shout this loud and clear just help those under the anointing say father i decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes, yokes, activities of ancestry be broken forever. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Someone is praying. Bring to an end. Don't fear the devil. You have authority redeemed by the blood. you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks 
The blood speaks. The blood speaks. You have no legal hold over my life. The blood speaks. Be patient, we're almost done, but pray. This is a matter of your destiny. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Covenants of delay. Covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression. Covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people be broken, be broken, redeemed by the blood, redeemed by the blood, redeemed by the blood. The ransom has been paid, a bezel has been made, the father is satisfied. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame, seasons of embarrassment, seasons of retrogression, by the power of the blood, come to an end in my life. Now, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame, reproach, embarrassment, come to an end. In the name of Jesus, come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Kalekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me. That should not have left. By the blood. By the name, by the word, I call you back to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Opportunities by the Spirit of God. Relationships by the Spirit of God. Resources by the Spirit of God. Mantles by the Spirit of God. Restoration 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 by the Spirit of God. Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me in the name of Jesus. 
the spirit of the waster listen listen your confessions matter there is the spirit of a waster it can waste life's resources say again in the name of jesus the spirit of a waster the spirit of untimely death the spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. Ke baraka poshko to brande ke para. Ekra katas kapela katashu brehia. Makapanda katabarata. You are cursed by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny. That has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Aleda kaparu kafesh, na kapranda kaparekesh, e protosko to brandi gebalia, kapra kapara kotosko to brande gebale gebia. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus. Come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Cause it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Cause it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cursed it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of god i sanctify my dreams i sanctify my visions i sanctify my prophetic experiences no more manipulations no more wrong revelations open your mouth and pray pray declare sanctification the devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you the devil will not manipulate you with visions lying visions Please pray a few more minutes. Kaprenda gata bereka tosko tu brekia. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant i curse you now open your mouth and pray please pray open your mouth and pray every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you coming as a woman that sleeps with you coming as animals all kinds of demonic things curse them by the god of heaven Abracapereto so 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 bad. 
Ke brande kapa e proto shoto prete ke likata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come, bring them out right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Causes, be broken now. Causes, please help them, whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time. Causes, every cause powered by an altar standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire or oh, patash koteka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire, fire by the power of the holy ghost Anatas katika te parakatos, eprakatos kotusha neka te parakatos yata, emprekati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. That the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or knowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on apakatoskata i set it on fire now i set it on fire now help that woman please i set it on fire now Listen, listen to me, we're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again, whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you receive knowingly or knowingly that is being used as a token 
of manipulation. I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive, they sat on altars powering Satan and not allowing people to move. There are whole villages and territories. They renew their life with young people and they remain there. I call upon the God of heaven. May the ground open and swallow them this moment. Help them, please. Help them, help them. May the ground open a pakato scatter. May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty of lack and hardship all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we're wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now Take that fire now. The cause of firstborns, I curse you right now. The cause of firstborns, I curse you right now. Hear me? If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in Jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now two more prayers and we're done my goodness fire is burning in this place Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit Whether it's your favor Your job Your lifting Your children Your relationships In the name of Jesus This moment By the power of the name, the blood and the word I declare a release now I announce a prophetic jubilee now In the name of Jesus Christ
final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you will be surprised at what will happen to you now I want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this I stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and I pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory I want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of Samson every spirit in the similitude of Delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial Delilah's ministerial Delilah's career Delilah's in the name of Jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of Samson grew back in the realm of the spirit I pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of God rest on it now rest on it now I make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of Jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again in the name of Jesus we've overshot our time lift I want you to shout this loud and clear just help those under the anointing say father I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life over my destiny I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus, covenants of delay, covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression, covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare be broken now open your mouth and pray be broken ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people be broken be broken redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood 
The ransom has been paid. A visa has been made. The father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto prende kete. Ekra kata barakatos koto prende kete le katusia. Embra kapa katos koto prende kete bariakata. Shane kete shalakatos koto prende kete balakata. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach, embarrassment, come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything. That has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word I call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the Spirit of God relationships by the Spirit of God resources by the Spirit of God mantles by the Spirit of God Arada bakata prande katos kati la kapa, ebra katos koto bre katos kati malakata, shabre kete bata. Restoration by the Spirit of God. 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 Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the waster. Listen, listen. Your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster. The spirit of untimely death. The spirit of infirmity. I challenge you by the blood. You have no hold over my life. Go, go, go. Lift your voice and pray. Go. Untimely death. The waster coming as ill health. The waster coming as disappointment in business. The waster, the Lord rebuke you. The spirit of the waster. The baraka push koto brande ke para. Ekre katas katela katashubre hea. Makapranda katabarata. You are caused by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens I decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny I take my place in life I take my place in destiny 
never will it be said, Adam, where are you? I take my place. Aleda kaparu kafesh, naka branda kaparekesh, e protosko to brandi gebalia, kapra kapara kotosko to brande gebaleketia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Cause it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Cause it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cause it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come. Bring them out right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Courses, be broken now. Courses, please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time. Courses, every course powered by an altar standing to destroy you. 
I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns. Right now, I'm telling you, I'm seeing fire. May that fire engulf that pattern now. Altars catch fire. Oh, Apatash Koteka, bring them out. Altars catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Anatas Katika Teparakatos. Eprakatos Kotus and Nekatepa Lakatos Yata. Emprekatikatia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. That the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me, anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or knowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, every shrine where that thing is right now, I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic, I set it on fire now. Tokens and instruments of connection, I set it on fire, I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now. Listen. Listen to me. We're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again. Whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you receive, knowingly or unknowingly, that is being used as a token of manipulation, I pray for you, Koinonia, by the God who called me, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive, they sat on altars powering Satan and not allowing people to move. There are whole villages and territories. They renew their life with young people. And they remain there. I call upon the God of heaven. May the ground open and swallow them this moment. Help them, please. Help them, help them. May the ground open. May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship. All of you are graduates but no job. Everybody with master's PhD, yet nothing to write home about. Father, let fire right now from heaven. Every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of Jesus be destroyed now. Be destroyed now.
Hear me. If there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die. Listen, when you read the book of Esther, you will see that by divination, a date was already put to attack the Jews. I pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and Satan, that on so 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 day you will die of accident, or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing. I I pray for you now. May death leave you alone. We are wrapping up. Hear me. If you are a firstborn here, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The cause that tries to follow firstborns, the ones who open the womb, they are the ones who become the, the chief victims. I pray for you here. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward, I command it right now. At the count of three, may fire come upon that altar. One, two, three. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. The cause of firstborn. I curse you right now. The cause of firstborn. I curse you right now. Hear me. If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were, in Jesus' name, may that altar be destroyed now. Help them, please. May that altar be destroyed now. Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit, whether it's your favor, your job, your lifting, your children, your relationships, in the name of Jesus, this moment, by the power of the name, the blood, and the word, I declare a release now. I announce a prophetic jubilee now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Final prayer. Please place your hand on your head, prophetically. Your head is a sign of your glory. You will be surprised at what will happen to you now. I want to pray for you. Father, you instructed that we do this. I stand by the priestly, the apostolic and the prophetic mantle. And I pray over your people. The head of a man is a symbol of his glory. I want to pray for you. Something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus, you will never go down again. You will never go down again.
in the name of Jesus. We've overshot our time. Lift I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just help those under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus, covenants of delay, covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression, covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers. Tying down the destinies of God's people. Be broken. Be broken. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. The ransom has been paid. A bezel has been made. The Father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto brenda kete. Ekrakata barakatos koto brenda kete la katosia. Embrakata bakatos koto brenda kete la kete bariakata. Shane kete shalakatos koto brenda kete balakata. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame reproach embarrassment come to an end in the name of jesus come to an end in the name of jesus Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. 
you are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration say in the name of jesus everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word i call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of god relationships by the spirit of god resources by the spirit of god mantles by the spirit of god Restoration by the Spirit of God. 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 Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the waster. Listen, listen. Your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster. The spirit of untimely death. The spirit of infirmity. I challenge you by the blood. You have no hold over my life. Go, go, go. Lift your voice and pray. Go. Untimely death. The waster coming as ill health. The waster coming as disappointment in business. The waster. The Lord rebuke you. The spirit of the waster. The baraka push koto brande ke para. Ekre katas katela katashubre here. Makapranda katabarata. You are caused by the God of Heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny. That has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens. I decree and declare, clear away for me. Lift your voice and pray. My place in life, my space in destiny. I take my place in life. I take my place in destiny. Never will it be said, Adam, where are you? I take my place. Aleda kaparu kafesh, na kapranda kaparekesh, e protosko to brandi gebalia, kapra kapara kotosko to brande gebale gebia. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus. Come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Cause it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Cause it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cause it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus. And the word of God, I sanctify my dreams, I sanctify my visions, I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations, no more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. 
pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Kaprenda gata bereka tosko tu brekia. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant i curse you now open your mouth and pray please pray open your mouth and pray every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you coming as a woman that sleeps with you coming as animals all kinds of demonic things curse them by the god of heaven Ebraka pereto so 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 ba te prande kapa e kroto so to prete kele kata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now I declare, anyone here, who is a victim of causes right now at the count of three any cause sitting on your head sitting on your destiny causes that bring delay causes that bring failure causes at the count of three as you shout jesus let that fire come bring them out right now one two three shout jesus Causes be broken now. Causes, please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them for sake of time. Causes, every cause powered by an altar standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Causes. I'm arresting causes, negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone, every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now, I'm telling you, I'm seeing fire. May that fire engulf that pattern now. Altars, catch fire. Oh, Patash Koteka, bring them out. Altars, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Anatas Katika Teparakatosh. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. 
anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you knowingly or knowingly and that became the token of witchcraft every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on a i set it on fire now i set it on fire now help that woman please i set it on fire now Listen, listen to me, we're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again, whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly whatever you receive knowingly or unknowingly that is being used as a token of manipulation i pray for you koinonia by the god who called me be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open up a catoscata May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship, all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now Hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing I, I pray for you now may death leave you alone 